This is a uh, two-part video that I'm making of everything that's wrong with my T800 and everything that I'm going to do to fix it. Um, I never had a chance to actually work on it. Um, I moved this summer and then I blew my Achilles. Uh, so I'm going to have help from my wife and my kids to help me fix all the issues. But uh, i got to go through everything and make it right. So number one, the headlights do not work. Um, wiring's not there. Uh, number two, cigarette lighter does not work. Both trivial items. Um, I have a leaking head gasket. So that's another thing that needs to be fixed. Um, my steering wheel is, if you notice, it's supposed to be facing that way. And if my wheels are facing forward, it's facing the wrong direction. And someone, someone messed it up pretty good. So I got to fix that. So it needs to look like that when it's done. Uh, my carburetor uh, is giving me fits. So that's why the filter is off. Um, I got some issues with some wiring. Uh, I, I got to go through clean up all my connections. Uh, my choke cable is not hooked up. Uh, another problem that I'm running into is my clutch pedal has maybe an inch of travel, and uh, I know that they cheated the adjustment rod to stop the, the uh, pulley. So I'm gonna take off the belt guard and uh, put new brake band material on the pulley stop, uh, slide the engine back, adjust the clutch, get the clutch fixed out. Um, as normally on the tractors is, if you notice, way more travel. And you notice the belt fully loosens up. So my belt's not fully loosening up. It's enough to stop the tractor, but not good enough. Um, someone installed that bolt on backwards. Uh, I got a new seat coming for it. Uh, what else do I got going on? Uh, I got a rear lift that's going on. So I'm going to have a rear slot hitch with the adapter. Um, I'm going to install the front plow bracket. I have a, uh, a new, uh, not new, but I have a new to me dozer blade coming. Um, my tire is flat. I think we decided that we're going to tube them. I'm going to tube both so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, what else we got going on? Uh, pretty much rebuild the carburetor, new fuel line, new fuel filter, new points, new spark plug, um, service the transmission. Um, oh, another thing that I got going on, and it's very common, if you, if you pay attention when I turn the steering wheel, the, the entire front axle moves. And it's a very common issue. And all you have to do is tighten the bolt that holds the front axle. I'm going to tighten that. Uh, hook up a choke. And I'm systematically going to go through everything just to make, make it right. There's a uh, Ford tractor show in uh, Minnesota that I might try to make it to. Um, I got the mowing deck behind that deck sitting over there, so I need new timed belt. Uh, I'm gonna do new pulleys, new bearings, um, covers, guards, all the typical stuff. So, um, that's where I'm at, and I'll uh, get back with you in a few. Okay, we got the head removed. Uh, I 
I gotta find my brass brush on my rotary drill, but it is actually a standard bore and my piston is tight. And my bore, bore is good, no scratches, no grooves, no, no nothing. So that's in good shape. I got some carbon that needs to be cleaned, that's why I need my, my brush. I uh, have one of those shrink solder connections, so I did that for my headlights. My headlights are now wired in and working. Uh, this is my head gasket, and let's see, you can see it was leaking next to the exhaust side a little bit, and here's my head, and you can see that uh, it's leaking a little on the exhaust side. So I'm going to flatten it, clean it, and uh, install the head. Okay, I have the uh, carburetor pulled apart. Um, this was not the original carb. It was painted red. Probably came off of Jacobson. Uh, the bowl has no pitting. A couple of dents not that big a deal so i'm going to put this in my little soaking bath um my float you don't hear any water in it and my floats in really really good shape so that's just going to get polished um this is my idle that's going to get cleaned and polished um that's my spring for that. This is my high speed. Uh, and what was happening is my tractor would idle fine, but it would not uh, rev up without falling on its face. And the easy way to check if you have issues, and it's really gross, is you're going to notice that, let's see if I can, there is holes right right at the bottom focus right in the bottom so it's really gross but just blow on it and if you have any restrictions and mine's not completely clear I'm having issues so I know that I have a uh, blockage so I'm gonna take this and throw this into here and here's my carb body all right, it is a number 22 carb. It's correct for the K181. And my body is in really good shape. Um, it's not soft. It's not been beat on. My um, float hasn't been adjusted. It's a really nice carb. Um, but it needs a good cleaning. So I hope this fits. Let's see. Well, I'm going to pull the uh, pull this off, and then what I'm going to do is all this is going to go in this container, and then it's going to soak for 24 hours in the lacquer lacquer thinner. And what that does is that breaks up all the oil, um, grease, paint, and it makes it a lot easier to clean. Um, I do have a sonic cleaner, I do have a glass beater, but it's much easier just to soak it for 24 hours or 12 hours in lacquer thinner and come back in way faster to, to clean it after and uh, you get a, a better finish when it's done so um, yeah I'm gonna pull this this inlet off and then soak it so um, this gonna be it for this video uh, next video I'm going to install my rear lift install the um, uh, carb head gasket and uh, put it back together, fix the steering, and drive a tractor.